In this video, we will be discussing adding proximity and center break lines to a surface. If you'd like to follow along with this video, please open the file adding proximity and standard break lines to a surface.dwg, located in the training folder as discussed in the working with this dataset video. Proximity break lines are 2D polylines that initially have an elevation of zero. Each point on the polyline, the northing easting, is calculated based on the closest surface point when you bring it into the surface. First, let's just verify that we have Rebuild Automatic turned on by right clicking on the surface and choosing Rebuild Automatic. Now let's go ahead and zoom in to the bottom right part of our surface. And let's go ahead and bring in this break line that is a polyline. If I hover over this, you'll see it's just a polyline. We'll expand EG, expand definition, right click on break line and choose add. We'll call this one miscellaneous break line, change our type to proximity, and we'll just go ahead and click OK. When prompted to select the objects, go ahead and pick this object here, press enter, and notice how the tin updates automatically. Let's look at this other polyline that we have here this ditch bottom that we created before. We'll go ahead and right click on break lines and choose add. And we'll call this one ditch bottom, change our type to proximity, click OK, select the object and press enter. Our surface updates, but let's go ahead and view it in the object viewer to verify everything. Select the surface, general tools panel, and then object viewer. As you change the different visual styles, you can actually see your surface updating automatically. Press escape to get out of the object viewer. Now let's talk about standard break lines. So standard break lines are actually 3D lines. In other words, items like 3D pie lines, feature lines, or figures. The X, Y, and Z coordinates of each vertex are used in the surface. Let's go ahead and look at an example of this. We'll go ahead and right click on the break lines category and choose add, and we'll call this one detention pond. Leave it set to standard. We can use weeding factors to take out vertices. This would be useful if let's say you were bringing in some sort of pie line that had too many vertices, or we can actually add vertices. So for instance, these lines here only have vertices at the PCs and over here at the endpoints. If you want to tighten up your triangulation, you could increase what's called the supplementing factors, and that would increase your triangulation. We'll go ahead and click OK here, and we'll do a crossing window of those two objects, press Enter, and now our surface updates automatically. If you'd like to see the surface update, and this will be a kind of a standard procedure as you're adding data to the surface, you'll add it, rebuild it, then take it into the object viewer, to make sure that your triangulation is doing exactly what it's supposed to do.